Hi everyone, welcome to another video. So today I'm going to review the JBL Live 500 Bluetooth headphones. I've been using these headphones for a little over than one and a half years. So today I'm going to share my experience. So let's get started. So if you see at the design, so there's a metal band which is inside and then which is covered with a cushion and then it's a fabric finish that has gone inside. And then at the top, you will see the regular JBL branding and it still has a little bit of that fabric finish on the top as well. Feels really solid and rugged. So now if we come to the side, you can see the live branding that's written over here. And then we have the ear cups, which are really cushiony and it provides a great comfort if you're someone who likes to uh, use the headphones over a longer period of time. As you can see, this can be also folded. So if you're someone who likes to protect your headphone from unwanted damages, or you're someone who likes to travel a lot, you can probably fold this up and then you can use it as a case. And then you can put these headphones inside it so that your headphones remains protected. Now let's take a look at the side. So here we have our regular power button. So you slide this up and turns on with a little bit of opening sound and then we have the volume buttons over here this is to increase the volume this is to decrease the volume and this is to pause uh, your soundtrack now next we have the 3.5 mm headphone jack this is really convenient in case you run out of the charge then you can connect your 3.5 mm jack and you can continue listening with your music or the call then we have the microphone over here at the bottom we have two more buttons the first one is the bluetooth button which means if you wish to pair these headphones with a device you need to press this button so that you go in a pairing mode and then you get these headphones paired with that particular device as well the next button is helps you in uh, utilizing the ambient mode as well as the talk through mode I'll go ahead and explain what these modes are basically. So these headphones come with three different modes. In the first mode by default, it's a noise cancellation, which is a complete noise cancellation and uh, that just helps you to listen to what you're listening on these headphones. The second is an ambient mode, which means it reduces the noise cancellation to 50% so that you can enjoy uh, listening to your music as well as you can pay attention to what's going on in the environment as well. In the third mode, which is called as the talk through mode, it reduces your music volume so that uh, if you can feel that the music is still playing in the background, but at the same time you can talk to the person who's sitting next to you. Now, we also have the charging port over here. So this uses a typical USB-A type charger. I wish they could have given the USB type C and on the left hand side we will also have our Google Assistant and the Alexa activation buttons. So there are no physical buttons that you see over here but you just need to tap on the JBL logo so that your Google Assistant or the Amazon Echo uh, voice assistants are activated. In terms of the audio quality, if I have to talk, I would say it, the sound output is really good. It has the balance of the bass and the treble so that you have a very pleasant experience listening to your music as well. Now, in case if you want to personalize the sound output, yes, you can do that. You have your equalizers that you can uh, change according to your requirements. If, you, if you're someone who likes to listen to your songs with a a higher bass or you know if it's kind of a rock you can definitely change those in your equalizer as well additionally this can the sound output can be also controlled so if you want to set a particular setting for the output of these headphones you can select what is the level of bass that you want or the treble that you want in the JBL connect app as well so that is something you can use to uh, make sure that you have a very personalized you know audio experience from these headphones now in terms of the battery life i would say that once it is completely charged 
you get about a 16 to 20 hours of uh, playback time. Uh, normally, that's JBL claims the time on the wireless mode is 30 hours, and it takes about two hours to completely charge these headphones. So if you're someone that, who uses a lot of uh, listening to music, you, you wouldn't be requiring this to charge very often. So like once a day should be more than enough to get you going for the rest of the day as well. Hope you liked this video and if you have any comments or any questions about these uh, JBL 500 Live BT headphones, please feel free to post it on the comment and I'll go ahead and respond then. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on the next one.